We've got a bundle of gear here that uh, we're going to be using and looking at. Um, if you've got a little lad that likes playing soldiers like our little lad and his friends does, then they're obsessed with anything camouflage. But the guys over at Military First got in contact with us to see if we thought any of their stuff would be suitable for sort of family activities. Well, with a little soldier here, <laughs> I knew there'd be something there at least, but we had a good look through some of their stuff and come up with a, a few ideas. And, and the guys at Military First, uh, they're great. They sent us over some of this stuff so we can have a better look at. So today we're just going to have a quick look at what they sent us um, and then we'll be going outside and using it and, and following up with a bit more detail on some of these items. So first off, um, they sent us over this rather large sleeping bag. I believe this is yet a Phantom 400 four sleeping seat, four season winter sleeping bag from Highlander. Um, so one of the plans is, is to um, try this out. Obviously it's winter at the moment, so we're going to try this out camping. Uh, we also want to do some more wild camping as well, so uh, this, is, this is fairly good. Um, of course, it's got the camo print. I should say though that this, none of this is toy stuff. This is all genuine proper uh, gear. So, you know, if you've got someone that does like playing soldiers, you can actually go out and do stuff for real with, with this stuff. So that's an adult size sleeping bag. Um, looks quite good, quite keen to get out and have a look. They also do smaller children's size one. Now this one I think is a three and a half season. Um, let's just get it out of the bag have a quick look. So yeah, that's completely camouflaged in its stuff sack. So this is Highlander again, so we just check what it is. Uh, this is a Cadet Junior 350, so ideal, especially actually if you've got uh, kids that are army cadets for example um, and need to take a sleeping bag, this <laughs> right up the street. But of course we'll be using this going on some camps and, and testing it out and see how it fares really against some of our other sleeping bags. But as you can see this sleeping bag is his, <laughs> can't wait to get it in, get in it. But you see this sleeping bag has got a full camo print, uh, mummy hood, um, first time we're looking at this and it, uh, it seems insulated, quite well insulated so we'll, we'll get this out and uh, we'll actually go out and field test this properly. What do you reckon to that mate? Good. Good? Good. Okay so that's the, the Junior Cadet uh, 3.5 season sleeping bag. So we've got a bunch of other items here that are, are just spinning over everywhere. Um, so one of the things that um, our little lad must like to do is create some dens. So um, we'll be going off and creating a nice sort of camo den. So that's the sort of thing you can just go out and, and do somewhere in the woods and have a bit of time spending out there camping. And so of course military first guys stock a whole load of camo nets. So uh, we'll be going out and sticking this over our den and making it a pack a little hideaway. Um, they've also do some tarps, as you know we've covered a lot about tarps before on our website. But this is a, a good, quite a good quality thick tarp this is. Again of course green, so we'll be using this in our den in, in the woods and also if we go wild camping I think this would be very very useful. Um, so yeah looking to get this in, it's got loops all in the corners, you can probably set up a, a proper tarp. So this is a, a Miltec. So Miltech, I think it's got a name, I'll, I'll look up the name and put any links out for it. Hmm? It's quite thick. It's quite thick, it is quite thick. Yeah, Miltech by Stu. Again, I'll look up and try and get some links to this sort of stuff. It's quite thick, quite a good size tarp. Of course, we're not unfolding it all here, but it's got, um, looks like some good strong eyelets, for example, here. So that's quite good, so we'll be using this to help make our den and uh, our wild camp shelter. Um, now this here I think is something that's going to be particularly useful this time of year. Let's get this out. Again this is another Mealtech item and if it's what I think it is, 
Yes, I think it is. So, of course, one of the biggest heat losses you can get when out, especially this time of year in the winter, is obviously loss of heat through ground insulation. Um, it can make it uncomfortable if you're sitting there, but of course, if you're sleeping, you want to make sure you're insulated well in the ground. And this is actually a little insulated mat to go inside your tarp. Just trying to get it out of the stuff sack now. It's quite, it's, it's trying to un, un, uh, unroll itself out of the, out the tarp, so out of the uh, stuff sack at the moment. Wow, it's quite a big quilt actually. So here you go. That's, uh, that's quite not a bad sized quilt actually. So you could probably sit on that, some kids probably sit on that and even wrap themselves around if it's, it's cold. But it's, I mean, it's got some ties as well, so it's fairly flexible in how you perhaps set it up and use it. But that's a good size tarp, I mean, you know, that's good enough for an adult to lie on. Um, probably, possibly two. Uh, but again, we'll go out and test that out. Of course, extra insulation like this, even if you're just out in a tent this time of year, this is a good size to fit in a bedroom compartment of a tent. So it's a, a fairly useful general purpose bit of kit that. Right, so uh, a few other bits of practical items. Um, of course, paracord. So we're going to be setting up a tarp. You want some cord like this to help create a ridge line, for example, tight between some trees. Um, so that's a good amount of paracord there. Uh, seven strand core paracord, 100 foot of paracord there. So that should be plenty to set up dens and camps. Um, getting to the camp as well, you want some backpacks. Now, of course, we've reviewed a lot of backpacks. This is a military one. Now, this is actually a, a Pucker military uh, backpack. I think it's a scout pack, is it? Let's have a look, see. Yeah, it's a scout pack. It's 12 litre scout, scout pack. Um, and the reason I suggested that perhaps we have a look at this scout pack is that it's, it's small enough. I mean, it could work as a nice little day pack if you're just going out, but it's also small enough for our, our youngest here to uh, model it. Come around here then, mate. So I think we'll need to adjust the straps a bit. But if you get up, whoa! there we go. Let's sit on the gear. Let's sit down. <laughs> Not parachuting with it. <laughs> so there we go. So it's, it's actually a really good size for for kids too. So uh, straps are a little bit loose here. I'll work something out here, just to tighten the straps up a little bit for him. Um, but that's quite good, so we'll, we'll, we'll put some gear in this and he can hike some of his own gear up to where we're making the den or, or having a camp. So three pockets in here, and of course it is uh, proper military stuff. You've even got a, a, a place here for your Velcro um, badges to go on here, that's uh, whatever you want to use. And of course the whole system here for putting extra attachments and stuff onto the bag if need be. But we won't wear you up too much, mate. Okay, you want to get off, get off here? So let's get down to some more practical items as well. Um, little first aid kit. Of course, if we're going to go off making dens and they're using the pen knives and stuff, we, we take some first aid stuff. But they actually do a, a whole little um, military medical pack as well, which you can actually fit on your backpack, on your belt, or just keep in your bag. Um, Okay, this is the, the Pro Force MIDI pack. Can you just move back here, mate? That's it. So, not put it out before, but it's actually coming complete with a whole load of um, wound stuff, some gauze, band aids, sterilizer stuff. So, there's a whole set of uh, bits and pieces in here, but of course, you can put plenty of your own stuff inside. Handy little bag, actually, it's got some. It's got like a, a little wallet section in here actually as well. So you can pull the thing out and put extra items in here. So it's a handy little bit of kit anyway for if you're just going out hiking with the kids, getting a little first aid pack like this, just keeping it all organized and have it ready to hand. Uh, another practical item, especially if you're going while camping, is you take a lot of waste out with you. You might also want to uh, dig a little trench and bury it. So this is a um, folding shovel that they do. It just goes into a little pack, um, 
folds up quite neat actually. If I can get it folded back up correctly. There we go. So it folds up quite small and it comes in its own little pouch like this. So there we go, a little folding shovel which could be useful for all sorts of things when you camp but of, of course if you need the latrine uh, this is a, a useful little tool to do it and you just tighten this up to, to lock that bit in place. So there we go. All right, pooper scoop. Other practical items, um, things like this, uh, this is just a simple thing. If you're going camping, you've got a little stove on days out, um, a little windshield like this is ideal. This is a Highlander windshield, so you don't necessarily have to be going out doing any sort of army theme or anything like this. It's a handy little windshield. Put this around um, your gas stove, and you're going to get more efficiency out of your gas stove or whatever you're using to burn like this, keeps the wind out. Um, it's got these little pegs here so you could actually push these down into the ground to keep it stable. So again we'll be trying that when we're cooking up some lunch. Right, getting down onto the last few items. Uh, lighting, now we saw this and thought it was uh, quite good. This is a little bug light. Can you see that? So this little bug light, uh, it's got little adjustable legs, you can obviously wrap it around twigs and things like that. So it's a, a fairly flexible uh, little lighting solution as well as looking rather fun and cool for kids. Um, it's got some examples on the back there and we'll probably have a, a closer look at uh, this and what it's like. Um, but yeah, fairly flexible if you're out and about with these legs that you can wrap it around all sorts of things. Now, just getting on to the final thing and this is something I look good. You sit down there, mate. This is something that I thought looked rather good. Um, this is a little camping in a box kit. It's from Wildo Campo Box. And it's got a few things inside this. Uh, especially if, you, if you've got anyone that does like army stuff and likes going out for uh, and coming with you on picnics and days out and stuff. It's got everything you need. It's got a, look at this, it's got a, a, a it's like a little chopping board and drainer. Um, it's got a lid here, so you can, I think the idea is that you can keep everything inside this box here. Um, inside the box here, we've got a little pouch, a little pot for stuff. Um, I need to check what that is. I think that could be used for putting matches and things in. Uh, you've got a, a, a fork, knife, spoon type of arrangement going on here, of course, in green. And then you've got these little fold-out cups here. Fold out like this, you've got two sizes. You've got a, a smaller one, and you've got this larger one. Might be ideal for soup or something like that. So there you go. They fold out like that. Let me just get this off. Yeah, it's a little pot, has got all sorts of, uh, a couple of different compartments in there. Can you see that? Yeah, you can put some matches in there, mate. So, does it say, fully equipped includes plate, bowl, lid plate, folder cup, big, folder cup, small, cutting board, oh, shaker and spork. So it's a shaker, I see. So, all right, so if you want to put season, ah, that's what these are for, I get it now. I see, it's a little shaker. So you've got, on the bottom here, you lift these tabs, you've got little holes like um, for salt and pepper and, and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, you might be able to keep some matches in, but it's actually a shaker, so you've got some various little holes you can put things down these little compartments as well. Uh, maybe it's useful for actually keeping some instant coffee in there. So that's, a, that's, that's what that's for, that's a handy little thing. Okay, so, so that's, that's the kit. Um, bit of a military drop there of gear to us. Um, so we'll be having a closer look at some of these and going out and making our dens and, and trying to get on a wild camp and test this sort of stuff out. So uh, what do you reckon to it, mate? Good. Good? All right, that's all for now. See you soon. Hey, let's have a look at it.